Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Two Row. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. And for that, I'm always extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Sagittarius Love Prediction reading for the uh, month of May. A Sagittarius Love Prediction reading for the month of May. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, if you enjoy my readings, if you give me a subscription or a like, I will be most humbled, most honored, and I'm always very, very grateful. Thank you so much in advance if you decide to do that. As I always tell you, you will not be disappointed with my readings. Thank you in advance once again for coming to my channel. Welcome into my channel, Spirit Guides. Welcome, Ancestors. Let me give uh, my sassy Sagittarius a great reading, a great love reading for May. Let's see what's going on, Sagittarius. What you got going on for May? You've got the Four of Pentacles. You've got the Hermit card. You've got the Three of Swords. You've got the Hierophant, and you've got the Knight of Cups. Whew. Well, you come into maybe being very stable with the situation. Something has taught you, though, because the Hermit is here. The Hermit could be a Virgo card, too. But the Four of Pentacles is my stability card. You're very stable with the situation. Very, very, very stable with the situation. I don't know what it is with someone, but there is stability there. And you have learned from this situation. You have learned from this situation. Um, the Hermit card means it's a card of introspection, of learning, of wisdom. You have learned from a situation and you have been stable and you have taken the time to learn from a situation. Now, I do believe that this was heartbreak, that you did have heartbreak with someone, but you took that heartbreak and turned it into something positive because the next card you have is the Hierophant. The Hierophant could be a Taurus person as well, but the Hierophant is also a card of, of um, marriage. It could be marriage. And I think that you have learned from something. You've been through heartbreak. You've already learned. Now you're ready to go to the next level with someone else. You are, you are, you know what you want and you're ready to go to the next level. Then you have the Knight of Cups. So it means, with the Knight of Cups, this could be marriage, could be together, being together with someone in the contemplation of marriage. But then you have the Knight of Cups too, which means that you have offered um, this person um, everything. You have showed them that you can be charismatic. You have showed them that you can be kind. You have showed them you've given your cup of loyalty to them. You have given your cup of love to them. That your heart space is for them. This is something to do with possibly a marriage. Now, let's see what happened. Let's see. You learned something, though. And I think you're stable after time of being unstable, Sagittarius. So if you could, if you could give me another three to five minutes, just hold your horses and give me another three to five minutes and let me clarify the cards for you so I can make sure that I'm giving you the clear story. Spirit guys, can you tell me why the Four of Pentacles is here for my Sagittarius? Why is the Four of Pentacles here for my Sagittarius? Oh, you have the Ace of Wands, which means a new beginning. You have um, you have been stable. You have gone through some mesh, some ish. You have been you are stable now, though. Um, you also have learned from it, and you're beginning to start again. That wands, you're you're moving out. This is a new beginning for you. This is moving on. This is um, making the actions for a new beginning with something. Let's see why is the hermit card here for my Sagittarius? Show me why is the hermit card here for my Sagittarius? Oh, you have the five of pentacles. So you at one point in time, I think, and this is what I think caused you your, your three of swords. You felt like and you had to go within yourself because you had a spirit of lack. You were trying to move forward. You were stable. You were trying to move forward with something. But, you know, you can't move forward till you get rid of that old baggage that you had. And for some reason, you had a spirit of lack. You, you, you didn't feel like you were good enough. You didn't feel like you had gone through it. Your heart space wasn't right. Your money wasn't right. You need to do everything. Let's see why this three of swords is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is my three of swords here for my Sagittarius? Show me spirit guys. Why is the three of swords here for my Sagittarius? Oh, thank you spirit guides. They're just telling me the truth. 
You had a situation, it's over now. But that situation that you had from this that caused you to have this heartache, you learned from it. You did have a time where you felt like you weren't good enough, but you learned from that situation. You tried to move forward. You really did. You were stable here for a minute. You tried to move forward, but you had to take some time out because you didn't have the right heart space. Your, your money wasn't right. It You had to get everything rolling the right way in order for you to get past this heartache. This is over. This heartache and this situation is over where you had that spirit. That is over right now. You have found someone, but it's very difficult for you because of what you have been through. And you've got to let that go. You've got to let that go so that you can move forward into what you want and what you deserve, what the universe is trying to give you. Let's see why the Hierophant is here for you. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Hierophant here for my Sagittarius? Yep. Look at that. You are transforming. That could be a Scorpio person, too. But you are transforming and transitioning. You are transitioning. You see someone that you like and you love. Because you want ultimately to go to the next level with them. You got to let this go. In order for you to go to the next level. You've learned. You've already been through this. Uh, I'm not worthy phase. You've had a heartbreak. You let it. You, you completed that. Now you're in this hierophant. You found someone. Someone that loves you. Someone that you can give your goodness to. Because you know why I know you're giving your goodness to. And you're transforming. You've transforming. Because you have that knight of, Pen knight of cups there. Excuse me. The knight of cups. The knight of cups means you're offering everything. You are giving this person the world. Because you see them as being um, your forever plus one possibly. So let's see why the knight of cups is here for you. Sag, show me why the Knight of Cups is here for my Sages. Ah, look at that. You got the hangman. Which means that you are now in the right energy. You are no longer in this spirit of lack of feeling you're not good enough. You are right in the right energy. And you are going to stay in that energy because you want this situation. You have transformed yourself. Let's say you got the Four of Pentacles, like I said at the very beginning. Four of Pentacles, you were stable with something. And then you felt like whatever it for some reason it didn't work out because the ace of wands came which means you had a new beginning with someone you had a new beginning with someone the hermit is then came out which means could be a virgo person but over that hermit you were you were you had gone inside of yourself and trying to figure it out because you felt a spirit of lack you, you just thought you weren't good enough for this because this has happened to you and you thought it wasn't good enough you had a severe heartbreak and i'm very sorry i feel your heart it does I know what heartbreak feels like, so I do. I, I'm sorry that you had to go through that. But you got out of it. Look at the Ten of Swords. I mean, it's complete. It's done. It's over with. Now you found someone that you love. It could be a Taurus person um, because you have the Death card, which could be a Scorpio too. But it could be anyone. But these are just cards that are coming up on the board. You have the Death card. And the Death card is a transforming card. Go, Sag. Go. You have transformed. You did not stay in that energy because now... You have this energy right now of giving your love, your kindness, your char your charismatic to someone, your goodness, your loyalty, and you're right there in that energy. You're staying right in that energy. You're going to get what you want. You're going to get what you want because you've decided to move on. You've decided to move on and not stay in that energy of heartbreak. Let me pull an angel oracle card. Oh. <laughs> says no need to worry the angels say no need to worry you are doing what you're supposed to do you are moving into the right area and the right energy that you're supposed to be in that's what i have for you um sagittarius for your love prediction reading for may <laughs>